everyone, I hope you are having a good day. My name is Nick and we're back on the ZX Spectrum, what a surprise. Uh, we're looking at a game called Frostbite, published by Microgen in 1986. It's a game that also came out on the Amiga, Amstrad CPC, Atari ST and Commodore 64. So let's do my controls, but you take the part of Hickey, which is a strange or worm sort of like creature. And you're a member of the Keezer race. Yes, uh, get this, the Keezers, not the Geezers. And five of your friends have been kidnapped by ghoulish monsters and you've got to flip around. Uh, I'm that yellow thing up the top there. You've got to flip around and rescue them. Uh, that thing on the right, I think, is bullets, which I can pick up. So it's an exploration sort of like maze game as such. Right, how do I pick that up? I'll pick that up, right. So you see in the uh, bottom left, I've got bullets, so now I can fire at stuff. Uh, so I've escaped this red cage next to me, and I've got to find five other keysers who's also in red cages somewhere along this map. Yes. A bit of colour clash here, but I'll let that go. Whoa. If I don't get very far, I've got to cheat for immunity, but let's see how I do. Now, we're deep within the cams of planet Cosmia, if you're trying to look this up on intergalactic map. An interesting character, this. A bit like a slinky, uh, but that's a good idea. I don't remember any other games like this. Uh, Frostbite was seen as a classic by uh, lots of people. Microgen, 1986. Uh, Microgen were, well, more famously responsible for those Wally Week games. Automania, Everyone's a Wally, Pajama Armor, Three Weeks in Paradise, Herbert's Dummy Run, and probably another one that I've forgotten. If you had this game back in the day, let me know. Let's just see how far I get on this thing. So that's fi that thing blown up. Now, let's get the timing passes drip. Uh, that big uh, guy next to me is not going to hurt me at all. Right, I think we need to jump and then go forward like that. That's it, good. Right, hooray. Now, there's power-ups along the way. Whoops. Uh, a red power-up makes you move faster. A gr oops, a blue one makes you jump higher. And a green one, you're unable to fall further. Looks like there's springs there on the right. Okay, so keep going, Nick. Uh, now, you might mention there, you might see there on the bottom there, there's something called twang. That's my time limit, so that's gradually going down as well. You can fire up, depending on what direction your uh, your creature is, or vertically. No, no, horizontally, that's what, I, that's what I mean. That's pretty much it, really, and then you've got to try and complete. So that red thing, I'll click on that and then use it, I can go a bit quicker, which is what I might need to get through here. So a very inventive platform again. I do like unique games, and I like it. Um, I think I would have played it a lot as a kid. But these reviews are always about, uh, not expert gameplay, although it does sometimes happen by random, it's what would you default with a game back in the day? If you spent your pocket money on it, would you have cried yourself to sleep that you should have bought something else? Uh, or, you know, a Christmas present. I, I would like this game, I, I think it's quite a good one. Quite interesting to see what the Commodore Amiga can do with it, so I've got that written down to have a look at some point in the future. Doesn't really feel like a Commodore Amiga type of game, but, you know, it could be one of those. But on the ZX Spectrum, it's jolly good. Right, there's a blue thing there, so we can jump higher. So the idea is get that, and then get on that ledge above there, and don't get hit by any of these guys. Don't run out of twang, don't run out of ammo, and don't get killed. That's that's my um, that's my recommendation to you. Uh, if any of you lot had this game back in the day, then let me know in the comment section uh, below. How long did it take you to complete the thing? Right, don't run out of twang. I think I might have mentioned that. I think we're out, we're almost out of ammo. Also, get this timing right. Come on, Nick. Oops, oh no, my life force is drained. I rescued no no other of the keezers. Sorry, keezers. Ooh. Right, I'll put, I'm going to put a poke in now for infinite what's names. Uh, hopefully, hopefully my strength won't go down, but my I might run out of twang. You know, you know when you run out of twang. Right, so jump in. Unique movement on this game, unique movement, but I I like it. It's good. Uh, quite a bit of color clash around the place, but not well. It's about medium, isn't it? It's not horrendous. The Commodore 64 version probably doesn't have any, but I haven't played it as of yet, so I might be wrong. Frostbite. I uh, had a quite a good uh, cassette cover, I think, of some demon cyclops uh, creature, I believe. Kaboom! It's one of these ones that I wish I'd owned back in the day. I was aware of it, but I never actually played the thing. So this is, well, my second go of the thing now. It, it's got it's got good uh, graphics. I like these uh, creatures uh, every now and again that don't actually kill you. They're just decor decoration. You can uh, get more twang if you find it. Twang is time, by the way, if you're struggling to keep up. 
but uh, yeah, I, I like the movement of the thing. It's a very unique looking game. It's cool, it does stand out in its own right. I don't think there was a Frostbite tool. If you know differently, let me know. If you're liking this kind of crazy commentary, then please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And huge thanks, as I always say, a maximum respect. Huge thanks to all the subscribers so far, and uh, even greater respect to all the members which are keeping this channel going. As I say, without them, this video probably wouldn't even be here. I would have given up years ago uh, there, because it's, it's a bit of a time thing. But hooray! It's all for fun. It's all for fun. Good. Right. But beating stress is what it's all about. Oh, gear. It's a good job I've got this cheat on for infinite uh, strength here, or else I'll be dead about 50 times over. We're on springs. Boing. Boing. Right, I need to get over a little bit to get over there. And then it looks like there's a scorpion sort of thing next door. And then blast the hell out of that thing. Yes. No, I didn't go across quick enough. That's it. Now cross. That's it. Got it. That's him doomed. Uh, that red thing there will make us go a little bit quicker, which might be needed. Use. Boom, let's use it. And that's active until, uh, it's no time limit on that, it's just active until we get the next one. Oops, should have jumped over that thing, but anyway. Uh, the blue one, of course, likes us jump higher, so we must have some big jumping involved, unless uh, that's a big red herring. A good exploration game, really. You have to pay, take a bit more care than what I'm doing if you haven't got a, a poke on. But uh, yeah, I, I think I would have got a distance. Uh, see that red heart, I guess that's extra health. Really, we need extra twang, really. Uh, twang's getting a bit low. We've got half our twang left. Right, I think we're going to get this heart as we go up. Right, it's getting a bit... Oh, there's, a, there's a, one of the keysers up the top there. There's one of the keysers. So at least we try and rescue him. What was that alert sign? Come on, keyser, I'm coming to rescue you, maybe, if I can be bothered. He's a little wormy creature like me. Right, kaboom. I don't know if I can get over to get him, really. Maybe I, I I that blue thing I had early on. I think uh, yeah I should have I should have saved that blue thing for this. It doesn't seem to be about anymore. I don't think I can rescue that other keezer. Sorry keezer, you'll have to stay in that prison cell for a bit longer. Oh dear. See you later. I'm, I'm through this red door. Maybe if I can find oh I can't get back across though. It's a one way door. Uh, I need to get a blue thing and then get back to him somehow. Nick, get across a little bit. So inventive, inventive screens. They look different from each other. I do feel like I'm getting a certain distance. 1986, uh, good, uh, a good time for the game to be uh, released. It isn't too late or anything. I'd like to see the programming of this game. Right, okay, so... I think we'll be trapped... Oh no, there's a blue thing to make us jump higher. So normally you've got to, catch the, got to get past these scorpion wormy things. I could probably just go through them, but I'll try and get past, shall I? Or shall I nod? No, I can't shoot the thing, it's not dying! Ugh. Just die, you stupid scorpion red thing! Anyway, I'll go across. There we go. <laughs> that wasn't timed very well, but now I've, I've got what I wanted. Only four bits of twang left. What's that up there? At least we saw a green one, that makes us fall further. At least we saw one of the keezers, although I didn't actually rescue him. He's probably swearing now in his, in his little cage, thinking, why didn't, why didn't Nick rescue me? Uh, well, I wouldn't say Nick, because this character is called Hickey. Uh, he's one of the keezer race. If you are one of the keezer race, then comment in the comment section below. Did everything work out from 1986, or are you now overridden by uh, um, enemy invaders? On the planet Cosmia. Cosmia, good stuff. Right. Oh, you're, oh, see, we ran out of twang, which is time. It should have said your twang is out. Anyway, that might sound rude. Your time is out. You rescued no one. Ugh. I think I should have one other quick go on this one. Nice, nice feel to the thing. Nice feel to the thing. There's my red cage that I've escaped, so that padlock was no good. The aliens couldn't keep me away. I don't know why it's called frostbite. I think maybe because we're on an ice planet. Look, I've worked it out already. Frostbite, good name, good name for a, a game, really. Bite spelled B-Y-T-E. Great stuff. Um, right, boof, over the drips. That was bad timing, but um, uh, there's probably a poke for Infinite Twang as well if you want to explore the whole old place at your leisure, which I recommend doing, actually. Um, it's good to see what the game uh, had to um, offer. I don't think I would have completed it back in the day, but I might be just being defeatist. I might have rescued at least one or two Twang. 
Um, I think I would have got about as far as I did with Rubik's Cube, where I maybe got one or so, two sides done, but not completed the whole cube. I think that's probably accurate to say. But I would have had fun no less, um, no doubt. Speed, speed merchant, look at this speed merchant go, in his slinky sort of powers. Oh, oh, you missed that, you fool. Should have destroyed that blue head there. Am I going to lose a bit of uh, strength? Hmm, not noticeably. Twang. Right, okay. Um, boing. No, get, get to the... the, the oh, that's not far enough either, Nicky. You need to get to the far side. Have you learnt nothing? Presumably not. Biff. Frostbite. We'll, prob we'll probably look at this at a live stream in the future. Uh, can't look at it at live stream in the past. That's impossible without a time machine. I hope you understand, folks. Right. Good, 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 good. I'd love to see the whole map on this, um, with the internet being the internet. The whole map is probably uh, there. Please don't uh, post links in the comment section because YouTube automatically uh, mark them as spam. It isn't me doing it, so don't get angry at me. Uh, any any links tend to uh, go somewhere else, which is just as well, really, because this uh, this channel without those would get spammed to death. Uh, when I look at the, uh, the the spam bit, that's always full of full of nasty stuff. But anyway. I haven't got time to go through it because it's, uh, it's so lots, but just rest assured, it isn't me doing it. Uh, it's uh, any links will go in there generally. Right. Bam. Why do I get spammed so much? I don't know. It happens on Twitter as well and Facebook. Sometimes it makes it tricky to answer everything when about 60% of the stuff is, is spam or above. But I, I will, I do attempt to. Right. Go. Right. More bullets, please. Thank you very much, Meister. Twang is about halfway uh, down. Beep, 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 beep. Sound is as expected. I'm sure like doing the same the same distance as last time. I really want to get to that cavern on the right, really. Uh, yeah, no real need to go down there again. Oh, he's gone down there again when he didn't mean to. Ah, oh, now I need to get yeah, I need to get the blue thing to get out of here. I'm stuck. We gotta get out of this place, do 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 do. Is this the last thing we ever do? Why don't those things just die? I don't know. They, they seem to be immune to um, my destructive powers. Right. Um, I don't think. Uh, interesting character this, but I don't think he showed up in any other games. If you know of a game with a similar character to this, then comment in the comment section below. What was it? Was it on the spectrum or was it somewhere else? But it's a, it's a, it's a good idea for a, a creature, as is that magenta thing in the middle. That would make a good uh, end level baddie, I think, in a shoot 'em up. Through that. Uh, there's a red thing up there, right? Okay. Yes, yeah, so I would have died quite a lot by now. Boing. That's not how you do it, Nick. That's not how you do it. Need to go up, up and away. Ugh. Right, okay. So I think we've seen pretty much uh, this game. You know if you want to track it down or not. I would say track it down just for its pure cleverness. And I, I, it is quite interesting, the, um, the, 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 the design of the thing. Uh, it's quite straightforward what you need to do. You just need to find the five keysers in um, the yellow wiggly things in... Uh, their cages somewhere, get to them somehow, and release them all from their certain imprisonment and doom. And also don't run out of twang. That's what you need to do as well. But there's extra twang. There's another keezer up there. Right, hello keezer. Ugh, I don't know I can be bothered to rescue this keezer. I'm a, I'm a bit of an anti-sociable uh, member of the keezer uh, race. There he is. Hello, I don't know what his name is, but my name is Hickey. Oh, look, I couldn't get up there. Get it that way. That's it. He's rescued. And for rescuing him, I get extra twang. Well, that's how you do it. So I've rescued one of them. So one could say I've completed 20% of the game. Well done, me. Good stuff. There you go. So that's, that's essentially what you do, but without cheating, uh, um, hopefully. Right. So we, we, we located two of the keysers on various goes. I've rescued one of them, so I'm not completely hopeless. Just uh, Just mainly. Hooray! Good game, good game, good game, good game. Despite the colour clash, but that's acceptable on Zelda Spectrum games. It's a part, it's a part of the charm, and it's not hideous colour clash in this occasion. Oh look, I'm stuck down here again. I think we might have to end our days down here, unless I can somehow bounce my way out again. But there's no blue. We've no blue because we've used that. But there's a ledge we can sort of like get to. I think is there? Yes. Good. That's helped us uh, there. 
but uh, we're stuck in the uh, in the basement of this um, sort of thing. So hope you liked having a look at that game. I really liked it again. Um, very inventive, very unique, and you know it's got a certain addictiveness to it as well, which you always need. So yeah, that was Frostbite on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Microgen in 1986. All right, geezers, I will leave you there. Uh, so if you're going to comment at this game, similar games, or anything retro, then uh, please put that below. Uh, you're always welcome, and I love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.